Hello everyone, welcome back to Hey Mathematics. Today we have an interesting integral. We have integral dx over 3x squared plus 12x plus 20. How can we solve this integral? This is not our table case, so we cannot look to our table and easily write our answer. So we need to find a real good approach how to solve it. And in this video I'm going to show you my approach, how I see the solution to this integral. I, I find this solution accidentally, so I want to show you and after video I want to to see your comments about this solution. So first of all, take a look. I want to factor 1 over 3 before integration. So 1 third, factor out of this. We'll have dx and in our denominator we'll have x square plus 4x and plus, I write it as 20 divided by 3. So take a look. I just factor out 3 from our denominator from here. 3 right from here, factoring x square, 4x and 20 thirds. So we just factor 1 over 3 and this is good because this is a constant so we can write it before our integral sign. So what we're going to do next? Take a look. I want to write this 20 third as, as take a look, 1 third integral dx in our denominator and in our denominator I write x square plus 4x this is the same but I want to write it as this 20 third I want to write as 4 plus 8 third. So this is our 23rd. But I'm going to write it as 4 plus 8 third. So why I write this? Because take a look, if we group these elements, we will have our formula x plus 2 square, x square plus 4x plus 4. And let's do this, let's write it. We will have 1 third integral dx and in our denominator we will have our formula x plus 2 square and plus this constant, 8, eight third. So I hope you understand this step. Separate this and this is our formula. Factor in one third and this is our formula. Okay, what we're going to do next? Take a look. There is a, a formula in high mathematics. I'll show this formula a little bit later, but to create this formula we need to have that this thing will be the same as our differential. So we can do this. Right here we have x plus 2 and we can write, uh, instead of this x, we can write x plus 2 because this is a derivative, so nothing change. So we'll have one third integral, and right here I write d, but not for, by x, by x plus 2. Nothing change. Finding derivative, we will have the same. But this x plus 2 square, and plus, we need a square. We need this number square. How can we do this? We can write this 8 as 2 square root of 2, dividing by square root of 3 square. If we raise this, take a look, we'll have the same 8 third. So, why I write this, all of these steps? Because there is a formula in high mathematics. So, we can integrate this in that way. So, 1 third. Before this, we can write it as square root of 3 dividing by 2, square root of 2. So, this constant go right here before this. And this is our arctangent. So, arctangent. Arctangent square root of 3 go to denominator, x plus 2, and dividing by 2 square root of 2, and plus c. So this is our, our formula that I try to, to get this formula. So why, how can we create this formula? We need this thing the same, we need squares, the sum of squares, and we need this differential the same as right here. So, and this will be our formula, square root of 3 to square root of 2, we write it as this constant. And arctangent, square root of 3 goes to our denominator, x plus 2, and dividing by 2, square root of 2. So, this is our formula, this is not, this is a table case, but in higher mathematics. This is not our easy case, this is our higher mathematic case. And let's simplify this, let's, let's simplify this at the end, what we will have. We will have 1 dividing by 2 square root of 6, if you multiply this constant. And of course we'll have arctangent, the same. And if you multiply both sides by square root of 3, we will have 3x plus 2 in denominator dividing by 2 square root of 6. Multiplying by square root of 3 both sides. Right here we we'll have 3, right here square root of 6. And as a result, plus c. 
What do you think about this approach? Maybe you have faster method how to solve it. This is my approach. I like this, this approach is a lot. Finding square root, separate this, and this method is good for me. What about you? Write a question in comment, write a suggestion in comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.